Hello again, I'm Dr. Nunez with Living Health. Today, as the year end approaches and the new year begins, this is the end of 2021 and soon 2022 will be with us. Wanted to review, well, what can we do? What do we commit to in this new coming year? And uh, I think the answer there has to be maybe a renewed commitment to our lifestyle, to a healthy lifestyle, one of that's going to improve our well-being, that's going to improve our health and our enjoyment of life. And so how do we go about this? And that is the area where lifestyle medicine comes in. These are the things you can do for yourself, decisions you make on a daily basis that can improve your health and well-being. And that's what the series of videos is about, lifestyle medicine. If you like these kinds of things, press that thumbs up press the subscribe button, press the little bell, leave a comment uh, that we can review. And uh, perhaps if there are enough comments about a particular subject area, we'll do a video on that too. So getting back into it, what uh, resolutions do we have for the new year? Well, look at a healthy lifestyle, okay? Remember, lifestyle has many components. It's not just nutrition and exercise, but it's also what you put into your body that might be toxic that you might want to get rid of. So if you're a smoker, you should stop that. Or if you're using some other substances, maybe you should stop those kinds of things. If you're drinking too much, you should stop that as well or reduce that if you can. Uh, on the nutrition side, yes, make sure you're getting enough fiber, you're eating enough plants, fruits, veggies, beans, legumes, those kinds of things. So you get a lot of natural fiber in your system. Make sure you're not eating too much fat, too much cholesterol, or too many simple carbs like sugars or refined products like that. The uh, red meats and uh, the fatty foods and the fried foods, these things can have uh, a lot of calories and they can, in the case of animal products like red meats, can have cholesterol which can uh, accumulate in your body so you may want to get rid of those things as well what else do you want to look at stress less try to r reduce your stress try to manage what you're engaged in how you're engaged in things with people with your work with your family so that you're reducing your stress as well examine yourself be aware of uh, your own reactions to things that happen in your environment that might be stressful and see how you can modify how you react uh, to have some insight into that. That's where mindfulness can come in. That's where meditation can come in. So you can look at those things too. And yes, let's bring exercise into it. It can help you manage uh, your stress. It can help you feel more productive and more energetic as you do exercise and you make it part of your daily routine you can feel more energized, which will help you enjoy life more as well. The other big component that I've spoken about in some of these other videos too is sleep. Make sure you're not sacrificing your sleep. Make sure you're getting enough in one fell swoop at night, seven to nine hours, and, and at the same time, so same bedtime, same rise time. These are little components that you can build in Okay, so I wanted to to bring it full circle for you on this uh, with lifestyle. Lifestyle is about enjoying life, of having a long life. If you tweak these components, you can get greater longevity uh, in your life and you can become uh, more fit so that you can enjoy things in your life for many more years. And the same in how you address illnesses and diseases. Yes, you should be accessing your healthcare provider and consulting your healthcare provider uh, about any conditions you may have, but you should be aware that many of the things that you do in your lifestyle can help either improve some of these conditions or prevent them or make management easier, whether it's because of high blood pressure, heart disease, pre-diabetes or diabetes, cholesterol, uh, these kinds of things, even even some of the cancers and the colon cancers can be helped with uh, or prevented or the incidence reduced by the use of lifestyle modification. So again, I wanted, I always highlight, it's not about feeling deprived or feeling like you need to uh, 
eliminate things from your life and reduce your enjoyment. No, it is really the opposite. And you're taking a tack that's making you feel down about the things you're missing or something like this. Uh, take a step back and look at the other areas of your lifestyle and see what else you can tweak uh, so that you can have a long and enjoyable life. That's what it's about. If you like these kinds of videos, press that thumbs up. Press that subscribe button. Press that little bell for, for future notifications and leave a comment. It is always appreciated. Wanted to wish you all a happy new year. Enjoy your new year in good health. Until next time, I'm Dr. Nunez with Living Health. Bye-bye.